Hey, what's up? Akpak here, and today we'll be taking a look on how to make that interior scene that I showed in my last video. So we're gonna get started by making a box uh, in the top view. Just make it how big you want; doesn't really matter. And uh, we're gonna come in perspective. Press F4, J, and G. Okay, just to get rid of the extra lines that we don't need. And then we can um, go to our scale function right here and just scale it out whatever size you want alright now what you want to do is go to modifiers tab and you want to select or you want to press N and then um, select normal and you should be able to see nothing but black when you go inside that's where you can see everything you know all the good stuff you need to see this should be good like that I'm gonna hit control C to make a camera and it switches to a camera pretty simple now what we want to do is make another box but this time the front view and then we want to drag it all the way back in the top view about half half and then we just want to um, position it properly inside here and this is going to be your window you can adjust it Oops, uh, I'm just going to adjust it quickly. The bigger the window, the more light that lets in, and it looks better. Okay, so now you want to select your room, I guess, and you want to come to standard primitives, and select compound object, and bolin, bolilgin, or whatever it's called, and then pick open B, and I'll select your box, and it'll just uh make it like that for you cut it out for you now you want to go back to the modifiers and you want to add a shell modifier and just oops and you just want to add in the inner amount uh, how much ever you want let's go with 3.8 that's good enough and you can just uh what else what was i gonna say Oh yeah, hit M for the material editor. And oh, before we do that, you want to come back to the create, get a sphere, and the top view. Let's try to get the center of your box and just make a huge sphere around it. This will be like your sky. And you also got to apply the normal modifier to this. Alright, and now you want to hit go back to your material editor by hitting M. And in the diffuse channel, uh, just select like a light bluish type of color and apply it to your thing and self illuminate it actually you don't need to if you do uh, just fix that up by doing that and now make another one and you want to go to like a little brownish beigeish color which uh, color that houses are usually the rooms are usually and you want to apply it to your bedroom bathroom whatever whatever it floats your boat now I'm just changing it preference wireframe black all right so there we go so we have uh, set up everything and now once you render this this is how it'll look pretty pretty simple okay now what you want to do is select anything from here you can um, make whatever you want I'm just gonna make um, a teapot because it's already there and then I'm gonna rotate it just a bit like that and I'm just gonna move it around make sure it's close to the window for better results and I'm just gonna make it a bit smaller Alright, I'm just going to add some turbo smooth to that. Now you want to go back to your material editor. In a new slot, uh, come to standard and just select, uh, what was it called? Oh shit. What the hell was it called? Oh fuck, whatever. Uh, before we do that, I forgot to do something. Go to rendering, render setup, 
and you want in the comments tab you want to go to assign renderer and you want mental rain i totally forgot to do that that's why i couldn't find what i was looking for all right now go back to standard and now you want to look for anything that looks really nice and glossy i'm just going to use plastic because uh that's what my teapot's going to be plastic make it whatever color you want money band so it's going to be green and you can fool around with that stuff but I'm not going to and there we go let's make the wireframe black and now once we render it there we go it's ready to go now all we gotta do is set up our lightings and um, that's pretty much it so uh, to see how to set up the lighting oh wait, I never showed okay let me start over go to lights standard uh, target spot come in your left view and you just want to make a light going in towards your house like that and you just want to adjust it okay you want to go to the modifiers you want to go to spotlight parameters and you want to increase the spotlight beam and you want to go back to material editor and in the sky material we made, we want to make it a bit lighter, a bit lighter color, and you want to self illuminate it 100%. Alright, and just fool around with the beams until you get something that you like. Okay, uh, always shift Q to render it, and you'll get some nice results. yeah so you can change the fall off to uh, whatever you want I'm just gonna make this like 90 and I'll let's see it so guys you pretty much get the point um, this has been Pack from the money band and uh, thanks for watching and be sure to watch the video in the description in the link uh, it'll be a follow-up to this part on how to make it look even much better so guys, once again, thanks for watching and um, talk to you guys later. Peace out.